Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome. My name is Stacy. Thanks for coming and joining. Um, Stacy Shea. I'm here from Las Vegas, live streaming today here in Summerlin, and Tuesday, April seventh. So today's theme, I want to uh, focus on some heart opening postures. So Vinyasa class. Okay. So let's just start seated. If you have a couple of yoga blocks, um, go ahead and grab your yoga blocks and sit on one of your blocks to bring your hips higher than your pelvis, or your hips higher than your knees. Hips higher than your knees. So comfortable seated position. And if you don't have uh, blocks, you can use a blanket or nothing. It's okay. Also, if you um, have access to a towel and you don't have a block or blocks, go ahead and get it, uh, make a towel roll. So we can use this later on for something I wanna do later. Okay? All right, so just go into a comfortable seated position and close your eyes. And just settle in. Let's take a moment to tap into your breath. There's been a, quite a bit of loss recently, um, dif different levels of loss, but also some gain, okay? So whether you are, uh, whatever realm you're dealing with um, more right now, just let's focus on that. So maybe a little bit of loss, or a lot of loss, or maybe gain, you're, you're gaining connection with yourself, maybe taking the time to reconnect with some friends, family members. So whatever it is you're dealing with today, let's focus on really healing the heart and being gentle with the heart. So as we sit, Hips heavy, belly in, length and long and tall through all sides of the torso. Lifting up, creating more space between each and every vertebra. Lifting your sternum up nice and tall, lots of space. Shoulders down, long neck, and just a slight tuck of the chin, not too much, but just to elongate through the cervical vertebra. So nice and long spine here, shoulders down. Let's take a big inhale together, right into the heart center, fill up the lungs. And exhale, staying tall, staying lifted as you exhale. Good, another big breath, right into the heart center, fill up the lungs, hold it at the top, and then slowly exhale, staying tall, keeping the belly in, Spine straight. Let's do one more together, just like that. Big inhale, right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs. Hold it at the top and pause. Retain the air. And exhale. Staying tall, staying lifted. Let the spine stay long as you exhale all the air out. Okay, so um, one more together, just like that. Big breath inhale, right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs and hold it at the top. Retain the air, nice and tall and long spine, retaining the air. Stay tall, stay lifted as you slowly exhale. Thank yourself for making it here today, taking this time to heal your mind, your body, and your spirit. Okay, blink your eyes open as you're ready. We're gonna take a big inhale, arms above your head. Stretch up, reach up long, and then exhale, arms down. Stay tall, stay lifted. Good, let's do another big breath. Inhale, right, arms above your head. This time, interlace your fingers and press your palms away. So reach your tailbone down, belly in, and stretch up long and tall. Firming the triceps into the midline, elbow straight, pressing the palms away. Stretch up, 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 up. Okay, keep the arms up. Now just drop the right hand down, reach up, 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 up through the left arm, and we're gonna gently take it over to the right. 
Okay, now if some of you have a second block, you could place your hand on the block. So keep the left hip rooted as you lift up through the left side body, the left waist, the left shoulder, the armpit. Maybe you look up to the left hand. One more breath here. And come on back up, both arms up. Let's take it to the other side. So bring your block over if you have it. So arms up, and then we're going to reach up with the right arm and gently drop the left hand down. So reach up as we come up and over to the left. So keep the right hip down, stretching through the right waist, the right rib cage, the right shoulder. Maybe you look up. Reach, 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 reach. And coming all the way back. Okay, one more big breath, inhale, arms over your head. And exhale. Okay, good. Let's um, get the blocks out of the way, and we're going to go onto all fours. Tabletop position, okay? Shoulders over the elbows, over the wrists, knees under the hips. We're gonna inhale, belly down, coil the chest up, eyes up, look up, reach up, open the front body, and then exhale. Tuck your chin to your chest, your face to your heart, lower abdomen in, really round the spine. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat pose. Really taking it slow, articulating through the joints of the vertebra. Inhale, belly down, spin the inner arms out, and then exhale. Two more like this, inhale. Open the front body, look up, exhale. Last one here, inhale. Exhale. Going into thoracic circles, meet in the center. We're going to come up and over to the right. Drag the torso down the right side. Drag it over to the left on the bottom, coming up over the left side. Thoracic circles coming up and over, down to the right, over to the left, coming up to the left side, good. So big, tracing a big giant barrel with your torso. So articulating through the joints. Okay, so meeting in the center here, let's take it the other side. Up and over to the left, down the left side, dragging across to the right and up the right side. Good, two more like that. Nice and big barrels. How much more space can you take? Good. Last one this side. Really articulating through the spine, the joints, the vertebra. Meeting in the center. Good. Stretch your right leg back. We're going to stretch um, through the ball of the right foot. So come forward and back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Okay, so firm that right leg quadricep. Stretch the right leg up. So press through the center of the right heel. Keep that right leg super firm. Add the left arm. So you're firing up the core here. So long neck. The gaze is just forward a little bit in front of your bottom hand fingertips. Stretch and reach. Reach and stretch and lengthen. And release. Let's do the other side. Left leg back. So you're up on the, the ball of the foot of the left, uh, the left foot. And just roll forward and back. Just articulating through the arch, the joint. Opening up the left calf, the back of the left leg, okay? So quiet down that leg, flex the left foot, and lift the left leg up. So firm that left inner thigh up, reach through the center of the back heel long, buoyant out of that bottom leg hip, belly in, long neck, add the right arm. So reach back with the left leg, stretch forward the right arm. So you're reaching and lengthening, long neck here. Reach and stretch and lengthen and release. Let's take it the other side one more time. So lift the right leg up right away. Nice and buoyant off of that standing leg, uh, that bottom leg hip, add the left arm. Stretch and reach, reach and lengthen. Okay, so listen carefully. You can stay here or you can bend the right knee, lift the chest up, and you're gonna grab that left, uh, the right foot with your left hand. So you have a nice firm hold on your right foot and you're going to kick the leg up, opening up the chest, the front body. So that bottom leg shin, you have to press the shin down, the knee down, the foot down to lift the chest up. One more breath here, open up any amount and release. Let's take it to the other side. Left leg up, right arm up, breathing. Okay, to stabilize, 
realize you have to hold the core and you press the right foot, the right shin down, and you reach and stretch. Adding on, you can bend the left knee, bring the right arm up, lift the chest up, you grab the left foot with your right hand, and you kick, 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 opening up across the front of the body, the chest, the heart. Press that right shin down, the right knee down, the right foot down, the kick the left leg up, chest up. One more breath here, kick up, open up any amount, and slowly release, and all the force. Okay, tuck the toes, we're gonna hover the shins, just one inch. So firm the arms, triceps firming in, long neck. We're hovering the knees one inch above the mat. Firm, um, firm the uh, arms, and engage the core, long neck. Tailbone back, belly in, pull the heart forward, long neck. Holding three, breathing two, and one. Press up into downward facing dog. So take a wide downward facing dog, first one. So feet wide, maybe hip distance. Hands are shoulder distance, we're pressing the palms down, triceps firm, lifting the hips, the tailbone, way up, 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 up. Okay, listen carefully, come up high on the toes. Bend the knees a lot, press the chest to the thighs, lifting the hips up a little higher, pressing the chest to the thighs, hips up, hips up, keep the hips high, we're gonna re-straighten the legs, and we're breathing. Good, so use your legs, firm the outer thighs into the midline, outer ankles in, and driving the inner thighs way up and back. Okay, let's bring the feet hip distance. Feet hip distance. Regular downward facing dog. Okay, hips high, belly in, long spine. We're gonna keep the feet, the hands where they are, we're gonna glide forward to plank and we're gonna pause. High push up. So make sure the butt's down, not up. Long spine, long neck. We're gonna glide back to downward facing dog. We're breathing. So ideally, the hands and the feet are Position so we don't have to reorganize every time. We're going to glide forward, plank, and pause. Shoulders over, elbows over wrists. Heels super forward. And press back up into downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Glide forward to plank, high push up. Good. Listen carefully. Drop the knees, the chest, the chin. Okay, good. Hands under the shoulders, palms flat. Zip up the legs. We're going to inhale, coil the chest up. Cobra. Bhujangasana, cobra. Lower down, one breath here, we're gonna do it again. Firm the outer ankles in, legs working, legs stay on the floor, inhale, come up. Elbows close, shoulders down and back. Heart forward, chest up, lift up, come up higher and come down. Breathing. Okay, on this next one, we're gonna do either another cobra like we just did or we're gonna go up to upward facing dog. Adho Mukha Svanasana. Okay, so for up dog, firm the legs, point the toes, quads engaged, elbows close. Take a deep breath and we're going to come all the way up. This time the knees are straight, the legs are off the mat. Firm the legs, shoulders down and back, heart forward. Stay here for an extra breath. Brightening across the heart, the collarbone, the chest. Belly in, tuck the toes, press up to downward facing dog and you're breathing. Outer thighs firming in, outer ankles firming in, inner heel spinning out, breathing, long spine. Gliding forward to plank high push up and pause. Now, this time you either can drop to the knees or you can lower down, chuck that on that. So glide forward a bit. We're gonna come down, elbows are at a 90, pause, use your core. Roll over the toes, upward facing dog or cobra if you're on the belly. Hold this here for an extra breath, brightening across the heart, and then lower abdomen in, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Breathing. Okay, let's do that for one more time. So you have your options. You come forward, plank. You either drop down to the knees or you go chaturanga. Elbows stay at a 90. Shoulders don't go over the elbows. 
Roll over the toes, inhale, upward facing dog or cobra, pause. Keep breathing. Tuck the toes, belly in, downward facing dog. Good. Come up high in the toes. We're gonna drop both heels over to the right. Okay, so left inner heel, outer right uh, foot. Left inner foot, outer right foot. Press the palms and the arms equally the best you can. One more breath here. Coming back through center, let's take it to the other side. So inner right foot, outer left foot. Pressing the palms evenly, the shoulders even the best you can. Feeling that nice stretch in the right side waist. One more breath here. Coming back through center, high on the toes. Drop the heels. Keep the feet where they are. Walk the hands back to the feet. Soften the knees. Forward fold, Uttanasana. So we're just hanging forward. You can interlace the arms. Gently sway right and left. Shake your head yes and no. Just allow the body to spill over the legs. The spine long. The head heavy. Your neck is relaxed. Okay, hold the belly in. Keep the knees soft. We're going to gently roll up. One vertebra at a time. Coming all the way back up. Okay. All right, everybody come to the top of your yoga mat. Please feet together. Big toes touch, ankle bones touch. Spread your toes wide. Belly in. Ardha Suri Namaskar. Inhale, arms above your head sideways. Stretch up, reach up. Hands, palms in prayer. Open up. Cactus. So slide back and lift the chest up, the heart up. Inhale, lengthen long, arms up. Exhale, diving forward, long spine, super long spine, belly in. Hands on the floor or on the shins or maybe on the blocks. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Pull the heart forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine. Coming all the way back up. Stretch up, reach up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Good. One more just like that. Half sun salute. Salutation, inhale, arms above your head. Exhale, cactus, slight back bend, lift the chest, the heart. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, diving forward, long spine. Belly in, full breaths. Inhale, halfway lift. Arm Uttanasana. Exhale, forward full. In the reverse, long spine. Coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Good, inhale, arms above your head. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, diving forward, long spine, belly in. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, right leg only steps back, just the right leg. Okay, drop the back knee. Make sure the left knee is over the left ankle. Okay, inhale, arms above your head. Okay, you can take it, your hands to your uh, left thigh if you need to. Okay. So, right hip spins forward. Pull the left femur back. You're opening up uh, the right hip flexor psoas. One more breath here. Okay, everybody, interlace your fingers like this. Click, um, hook the, the thumbs. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen. Stretch up, reach up, lengthen. And let's lift up and do a slight back bend, maybe, if it's available. Keep the head with the arms if you can. One more breath. And coming all the way down forward, hands down. Tuck the back toes, left foot meets the right. Plank, knees or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog and you're breathing. Good. Breathing, lengthening the spine. Every time we go into downward facing dog, think of a nice long spine. Inhale, right leg lift high. So keep the hips square and you're reaching through the center of the right heel. Spin the right hip down. Reach, 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 reach. Use your core. Round your spine. Bring the right foot all the way through to the center of, uh, in between the hands and drop the back knee. So other side. So you could take it step by step. So hands on your leg first, on your right leg. Okay, so pull the right hip in. Spin the left buttock forward. Breathing. Inhale, arms above your head. Stretch up, reach up. Hook the thumbs, stretch up, reach up, lengthen, 
Hands and head together, stretch up, and maybe do a slight back bend, opening up the heart, the chest. Chest open, breathing. One more breath, and we're gonna come up, hands down, tuck the back toes, step the left foot forward to meet the right. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Now if you have your blocks, bring them to the sides. Inhale, coming all the way up, reverse long spine. Stretch up, reach up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Inhale, big breath. Exhale, diving forward, long spine, belly in. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, right leg only steps back, drop the back knee. Inhale, arms up. So listen carefully. Keep the, uh, the right arm up and take the left hand and place it on the, the block if you have a block. Okay? So stretch up. It's just a little side bend to the left. Breathing. Maybe you spin the left chest up, brighten the right chest a little bit back, a little bit of a twist. One more breath here. And right arm up, left arm up, hands down. Tuck the back toes, left foot meets the right, cycle through the vinyasa, meeting and downward facing dog. Keep breathing. Full breaths, nice and slow movements. Right leg lifts up, step the right leg through, all the way, drop the back knee. Inhale, arms up. Okay, listen carefully, left arm up. Right hand comes down if you have the block. If you don't have the block, you can sort of drop your hand down to the floor. It's easier with the block. Okay, so nice long stretch through the left side body, the left waist, the left chest, spinning the right rib um, forward and left chest back. Breathing. One more breath here. And coming back up to the top, arms up. Hands down, left foot meets the right, forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse long spine. Coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Full Surya Namaskara A. Inhale, arms over your head. Exhale, diving forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back, plank, or jump back to Chaturanga. Cycle through the vinyasa, nice and slow, full breaths. Meeting in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Good, one more here, inhale. Exhale, come up high on the toes, bend the knees a lot, look forward, step or lightly hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reverse, long spine coming all the way back up. Arms up, hands in front of your heart. Sitting back in the chair with katasana, chair pose. So I like to keep my feet together. I drag my hands down to make sure I take a deep enough bend, okay? So from here, imagine there's uh, a wheel from your hip so socket, your hip joint, and it's opening up this way. It's a big giant wheel. So there's a turning going on from the hip through the lower abdomen, through the lower rib cage, through the mid spine, through the shoulders, the armpits. Opening, opening, opening. Bring your hands into prayer if it's available. Maybe you look up. Sit back, knees together. So think of lifting up your shins. So you have to bring your body weight to your heels to lift the toes up. One more breath here. Stay low, bring your hands into prayer. Lengthen your spine long, we're gonna go into a twist. So we're gonna go to the right first. So twist and turn the spine and hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. And then you bring your palms back into prayer. So keep your knees and your feet even the best that you can and bring your hands into prayer. And we look over to the right. Stay nice and low. So imagine that turning, that twisting, is originating from the lower abdomen, the lower vertebra. Opening up the right chest, the right shoulder. That left chest is 
spinning around to the right, right chest is opening up, maybe you look up, holding here for three, breathing for two, twist any amount for one, release, forward fold, heel toe your feet open, hip distance apart, index and middle finger, slice it between your big and second toe, create a hook around your big toes, inhale halfway lift, lengthen, exhale forward fold, so you can soften your knees if you need to, Okay, and we're just opening up the back body. So elbows uh, left and right, whole body spilling down. Breathing. Use your breath and use the time to open the body. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, pull and lengthen. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, lift up the feet. And uh, Pada Hastasana, get the hastas under the padas, get the hands under the feet. So palms face up, toes tickling the wrist creases if it's available. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. It's a little bit deeper here. So think of bringing the body weight forward. So Ball of the feet, massaging the palms of the hands, the heels of the hands, outer thighs firming in, outer ankles firming in, breathing. Think of hollowing out your belly, pulling the body down. One more breath here, stretch and reach and lengthen. Good, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands on your hips, come in all the way back up. And step or hop your feet back together. Sit back in the chair, Utkatasana chair pose. Back here into chair. Okay, so remember that wheel, it's coiling open through the lower vertebra, through the mid spine, through the shoulders. Open, 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 open. Arms up, maybe you look up, maybe bring your thumbs together, palms flat together. So if your arms are together, that's if your shoulders are ready. So you want to firm the triceps and elbows straighter. Hips and tailbone back, length and long. Remember the wheel, opening, 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 opening. Stay low, bring your hands into prayer. We're going to go twist to the left. So stay nice and low. And we're going to hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Bring your hands into prayer position. So feet together, even, and knees together. Hands in prayer, and we're twisting, you're breathing. So imagine this twist coming from the lower vertebra, the lower abdomen, twisting and turning to the left, opening up, mid-spine opening and turning. Keep that right hip back, keep the right knee back, left chest open, right chest coming around. Maybe you look up. Breathing, turning, twisting, holding three, breathing two, and one. Come back through center, exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, half the lift. Exhale, cycle through the vinyasa, meet in downward facing dog. Or you can skip it. Remember, if you're jumping back, you have to jump back to chaturanga. If you're stepping back, you step back to plank. You cannot jump back to plank. The reason why is because the, uh, you don't want to jar the shoulders or the elbows, the joints. Breathing. Okay, here we're in downward facing dog. Listen carefully. We're going to lift the right leg up, 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 up. Lift, 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 lift. Hips are square. Use your core. Bring the right knee to the nose. So round your spine. Come forward. Knee to nose. Inhale, right leg lift. Knee to right tricep. Belly in. Right leg lift up. Knee to left tricep. High up on the left tricep. Use your core. Inhale, right leg lift. Right leg coming back through the center, right to the nose, and then you step the foot down. Spin the back foot flat. We're going to inhale, come up into warrior one. Vira Bajrasana A. Bending deep into the right knee. So bring that left hip forward, pull the right femur bone, the right hip back, 
Firm the outer right hip in and keep lots of enthusiasm in that back quadricep. So you're driving the inner left thigh back, left chest forward, lift up through the chest, the ribs. Maybe you bring your hands into prayer. Maybe you look up, firming the triceps into the midline. Bend deeper into the front and reach up, lift up. One more breath here. And exhale, hands down, right foot meets the left. Cycle through the vinyasa or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Breathing, full breaths. Meeting in downward facing dog. Listen carefully, left leg lift. Reach through the left heel. So keeping the hips square, spin the left hip down. Hips square, reach and lengthen. Stretch and reach. Exhale, tuck your chin to your chest and knee to nose. Use your core. Inhale, left leg lifts. Exhale, left knee to left tricep. Use your core. Inhale, left leg lift. Inhale, left leg left or right tricep. Inhale, left leg lift. Last one, knee to nose, pause. And step through. Spin the back foot flat at a 45. We're going to inhale, come up, warrior one. Virabhadrasana A. So stable that back side foot, turn it in at a 45. Back leg is straight. So you're spinning that right hip forward as you pull the left femur in. Left outer thigh in. Okay, you're tracking the patella over the second toe. Maximum weight in the front heel, toes lifted up. Or gentle, no, no pressure on the toes. Breathing. Drive that inner right thigh back. Lengthening up through the lower vertebra. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen through the, the torso, chest. Maybe you look up. Maybe you bring your palms together. Palms flat together, reach up. Look up, holding three. Breathing to lengthen long any amount. And exhale, hands down, cycle to the vinyasa or skip it and knee in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Firm the legs back. Last one, inhale. Come up high in the toes, bend the knees a lot, look forward, step or lightly, hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit back in the chair, Utkatasa. Chair pose nice and low, look up. Exhale, come to standing. Okay, Sri Namaskara B, full sun salutation B. Sit back in the chair, Utkatasa. Stretch up, reach up, remember the wheel. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, step back, plank, or jump back to Chaturanga. Cycle through the Vinyasa. Meeting and downward facing dog. Lift the right leg up. Reach, 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 reach. Step the right leg all the way through. Warrior one. Virabhadrasana A. Exhale, down. Full breath. Right foot meets the left. Cycle through the vinyasa, meeting downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, left leg lift. Reach, 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 reach. Exhale, use your core. Left foot steps through. Vira A. Inhale, arms up. Warrior one. Exhale down. Cycle through the vinyasa, or skip it. Meeting and downward facing dog. So slow, full breaths. Big movement. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale, bend your knees a lot. Look forward, step or lightly. Hop your feet in between your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sit back in the chair with Katasana. Come up. Hands in front of your heart, standing up. Last one like that. Let's sit back in the chair with Katasana. Exhale forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Cycle through Vinyasa. Full breath. 
full breaths. Meeting in downward facing dog. Right leg lifts high. Reach, reach, reach. Exhale, bend the knee. Use your core. Step the right foot through. Inhale, come up. Warrior one. Exhale, coming back down. Right foot meets the left. Cycle to the vinyasa. Nice and clean. Keep the legs firm, the belly in. Brighten across the heart. Downward facing dog. Left side, left leg lifts. Step the left leg through. Inhale, Vira A, warrior one. Exhale, coming down. Keep breathing, left foot meets the right. Slow down. Chaturanga or knees. Upper facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog, and now you're breathing. Meeting and downward facing dog. Okay, from here, listen carefully. Lift the right leg up. Right leg up as high as you can. Now stack the right leg on the left, or the right hip on the left. So you're opening up the hip. Open the hip, but keep the um, arms and the shoulders square the best you can. Circle through the ankle. Go the other way. Maybe you lift your, straighten your leg. Okay, listen carefully. You're opening up the hips. We're gonna go into wild thing, flipping the dog. So before we do that, we have to come forward to a three-legged plank, okay? So shoulders stacked over, elbows over wrists. Then we're gonna drop the right foot behind, and we're gonna flatten the feet parallel the best you can, so you see shoulders over, elbows over wrists, and then we're gonna come up. So very important that bottom arm is aligned, okay? Shoulders stacked over, elbow over wrists, perpendicular. Press the feet down, lift the chest up. Reach the arm forward, reach and stretch, holding three. Hips up higher for two. And one, right hand down. Spin back over, right leg lifts. Listen carefully. Bring the right knee to the, to the nose. Round your spine. Okay, we're gonna shoot the right foot over to the left side. So fallen angel here. Fallen angel. So you can have both feet down. And again, the bottom arm, a shoulder stacked over, elbow over wrist. Pressing down to reach up. Now, for some of you, if you like to lift up that right leg, you can. Okay, use your core. Holding three. Breathing two. And one. Drop the left hand down. Right arm lifts. Right leg lifts. And back down. We're breathing. So we're in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Left leg lifts. Reach up, 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 up. Stack the left hip on the right. So you're opening up the hips. Circle the ankle one way. While we do this, try to keep the shoulders and the um, hands equal weight. And then the other way with the ankle. Circle, circle, circle. Maybe you straighten the left leg open. Breathing. Okay, listen carefully. We're gonna glide forward. So shoulders stacked over, elbow over wrists. And we're gonna drop that left foot down and we're gonna flip the dog. Kamat Karasana. Wild thing. So feet parallel. You're pressing the feet down, lifting the chest up. Reach up through the top arm. Press down to lift up. Squeeze the outer thighs in. Open up the cross the chest, the heart, the throat. Holding three. Hips up for two. Reaching for one. Left hand down. Flip back over. Left leg up. Okay, so uh, left knee to nose. Use your core around your spine. Listen carefully, we're gonna shoot the left foot over to the right. Fallen angel. Okay, make sure shoulders stacked over elbow over wrist and you lift the right arm up. So you press down to reach up. Okay, press down to reach up. Now for some of you, you'd like to lift that top leg or that bottom leg. Okay, maybe some of you can grab that bottom toe. Okay, different options. Press down to reach up. Three. Two, one, right hand down, left leg lifts, and drop the foot, downward facing dog. Keep breathing, good. Drop down to your knees, take a child's pose. Okay, we're gonna be coming back up into downward facing dog. 
in three, in two, and we're meeting in downward facing dog and we're breathing. Good. Okay. One more breath here. Come up high on the toes, bend your knees a lot, look forward, step or lightly, hop your feet in between your hands, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Sit back in the chair with Katasana. And then press up to standing. Good. Okay, hands on your hips. Step the left foot out, open. Open the feet wide. Okay, inhale, arms out. Prasarita Pada Chamasana A. Spine long, stomach in, come down. Long spine. Outer ankles firming in. Feet parallel. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Hands under the shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, coming on forward. So you're going to walk your hands in between your feet. So try to line up the heels with the heel, the heels of the palms with the heels of the feet. Hands shoulder distance. And from here, you're going to squeeze the elbows close like Chaturanga arms. Okay, but keep the hands shoulder distance. And then you're going to outer, uh, outer thighs for me, and we're going to drop the top of the head down. Maybe the top of your head can touch the floor. So it feels nice. There's a nice support with the top of the head touching the floor. Try um, elbows firming in. One more breath here. Come up halfway. Flat back. Hands on your hips. And we're going to come all the way back up. Inhale, arms up over, your, or over the, to the side. We're going to clasp the hands behind your back. Prasarita Padachanasana C. Inhale, heart lifted. Coil the chest open. Keep the hands clasped, belly in, legs firm. We're going to come down for a long spine. Arms all the way up and over. So you try to keep the hands, palms clasped with the heels of the palms touching the best you can. Nice and close. Breathing. You can soften your knees if you need to. Arms up and over, opening up. The shoulders. Let's hold this for two more breaths. Last breath here. We're going to release the hands onto the waist. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, come all the way up. Good. Now, if you have your blocks, bring them behind your heels. Okay. So, inhale, arms up to the sides. We're going to go to Uttita Trikonasa. Turn your right foot up. Angle your left he um, toes in, left heel out. Chest up, arms back. And we're going to reach, 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 and lengthen. And drop the right arm down on the block. I like to do medium facet right behind my ankle. Some of you might want to do higher facet. And I get right on my pads of my fingers. So I don't dump down into the bottom arm or the bottom hand. If you're super open, maybe you can just interlace your fingers around your toes. But you want to keep that left chest open. So the idea is to keep the right side body and the left side body equal in length. We tend to want to dump into the right side and create a hump with the left side. So keep that in mind. Maybe you look up to your left thumb. Keep the legs firm. Press down to reach up. Open wide. Lots of energy. Five points. Feet, hands, head. Breathing. Okay, listen carefully. Firm the left leg, the left foot. Right foot super solid. And we're going to inhale, come up. And we're going to do side number two. Turn the right toes in, left leg turn out. Stretch out, open up, reach out, and we're going to come down. So remember, equal length in left side body and right side body. We don't want to dump down into the left side body. So come down slowly, drop your hand down to your block if you have one. If not, you can just place your hand on your shin. Okay? Press down to reach up. Think of opening wide. How much more space can you take? Keep that. Right leg firm, right feet, right foot rooted, both feet rooted. Press down to reach up. Opening up wide. 
Lengthen long from the tailbone through the whole spine, opening up the right chest, spinning the left chest, chest up, pulling through the crown of the head. One more breath here. Keep both feet rooted, both legs firm as you come on up. Good. Okay, hands on your hips. Now we're gonna pivot the feet, and we're gonna uh, right foot forward, back foot turn in. Okay, inhale, arms out to the sides. Now from here, you can do reverse prayer, re reverse namaskar, or you can just grab your wrists or your elbows, whatever's available to you. Okay, inhale, pull the right hip back, inhale, chest up, exhale, coming forward. So think of a flat back here, firm that left thigh back, and think of chin to toe, chin to big toe, flat spine. So we're not rounding the spine here. You're holding the belly in and you're lengthening long. Pull the right hip back, chin to right big toe. Pulling that right hip back, driving the left inner thigh back. One more breath here. Root the feet down, inhale, come up. Keep the hands where they are. We're gonna pivot all the way to the back and do the second side, okay? So left foot forward and right toes turn in like 45 degrees. Inhale, lengthen long, coil the chest, and exhale, belly in. Long spine, heart forward, we come down. So think chin to big toe. Chin to big toe. Both feet are rooted. Spread your toes wide. Outer ankles firming in. Drive the left inner thigh back as you pull the left hip in. Long spine. Breathing. One more breath here. Press the feet down, inhale, come in all the way back up, flat back, pivot center, and step or hop your feet together. Release the arms, shake the arms out. Good, come up to the top edge of your yoga mat. Last vinyasa here, feet together, inhale, arms up. Exhale, diving for long spine, full breath. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, cycle through the vinyasa or skip it and meet in downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Now we're going to come to seated so you can step or hop through. You can try to hop through if you like to do that. You bend your knees a lot. Look forward. Exhale, exhale, exhale. You look past the mat. Exhale, and you jump through. Okay, gets easier. Okay, so Don Dawson, hands on your mat. Palms down, staff pose. Press the palms down, lift the chest up. Palms down, chest up. Palms down, chest up. Palms down, chest up. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Now try to grab the outsides of the feet, flat spine. For some of you, you might be able to grab the wrist on the outside, at the back of your feet. Whatever you can grab onto. If you need to bend your knees, you can. If you have a block, you can place it underneath your feet for the super bendy people. One more breath here. And come on up. Okay, so everybody bend your knees. Let's stand up on the knees. If you have a block, you can place it in between your inner thigh. If you don't, no big deal. We're going into Ustrasana, camel. Okay, so you're firming the outer thighs into the block, tops of the feet down, or you can fold the toes and bring the heels higher. You can choose, hands on your hips. Inhale, coil the chest up, bring your elbows close behind your back. Lift the chest up, drop your head back and pause. Breathing. Breathing up across the heart, throat, the collarbone. Okay, now firming the outer thighs into the block. Firming the outer thighs into the block. Okay, keep firming the outer thighs into the block and if you can, you 
Drop back when you grab the heels. If you'd like to keep your hands on your hips, you can. Hips forward, chest up. Outer thighs firming into the block. Hips forward, chest up. Two more breaths here. Hands on your hips, come up. Sit back, recover, and breathe. We're going to do one more just like that. You can use the block. You don't have to use the block. You can choose. Okay. Let's set it up. Hands on your hips. Fingertips point down. You can keep your feet flat. You can fold the toes. Inhale, chest up. Squeeze the elbows. Drop your head back. So think of keeping your thigh bones perpendicular to the floor the best you can. Okay, we don't want to lean back too much. Let me grab the heels. So if you need to fold your feet, that's fine to keep your femur bones perpendicular to the floor. Opening up across the heart, the throat, the collarbone, the chest. Breathing. Nice, bright highlight across the chest, the heart. Two more breaths here. Hands on your hips, come up. Sit back on your heels and breathe. Okay, from here, if you have um, your blocks, we're going to use those. If you don't have your blocks, you can use your rolled towel. Okay, I'm going to show you with the blocks first. So we're going to just do a chest opener. So from, for the one block, you place it on the bottom tips of your shoulder, underneath the bottom tips of your shoulder blades. Like lower them. Okay, and you want to... Bring that block horizontal, so right across your chest, your breast area. Okay, that's the first block. And then the second block, you can bring it on the high facet and place it behind your head and rest on your block, okay? And then arms down to your sides, palms face up. If you don't have blocks, you can use the towel roll and just place that under the bottom tips of your shoulder blades and then and just back of the head on the mat okay so similar we just want the heart lifted above the head okay so whatever you can do and i want to stay here for just a couple minutes So once you're positioned, close your eyes. Just take a moment and close your eyes. And if you have blocks at home, and this is too, a little bit too much of an opening, you could take everything on the lower facet. So maybe the horizontal block on the lower facet and then the, the block behind your head on the medium facet, you can decide. Okay, once you're here, let's just settle into this. So softening the face. Relaxing your brain. Feeling your heart opening. Everybody, let's take a big breath right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs. Exhale. Relax the whole body into the blocks, into the mat. Big breath. Inhale right into the heart center. Fill up the lungs. Pause. Hold it at the top. Retain the air. And release. One more big breath, right into the heart center, fill up the lungs. Hold the air. And release. And just a few more regular breaths here. 
relaxing the brain, softening the face. Think of three things that you're grateful for right here, right now. Let's hold this for two more full breaths. Okay, everybody, to, to come out, we're going to bend the knees, feet flat. And you're just going to gently prop yourself up on your elbows, move the blocks out of the way. We're going to come back down to the back, okay, and we're going to lie on the back and we're going to lift the legs up and lift the arms up like a dead bug. We're going to circle the ankles around, the wrists around. Let's go the other way. Okay, hug your knees to your chest. We're going to do a slight uh, massage of the sacrum. Okay, keep the knees bent in tabletop. And we're going to bring both knees over to the right. So scoop the, hip, scoop the hips over to the left. Bring both knees over to the right. You can bring your right hand and place it on the outside of your left knee. And you're going to stretch the left arm out. So keep the palm facing up so you can keep that external rotation of the left shoulder. Maybe you look over to your left arm, your left hand. Nice simple twist here, gentle. One more breath here. Okay, we're going to come back through to center. We're going to take it to side number two. So knees and legs are in tabletop. We're going to scoot the hips over to the right and bring both knees over to the left. Okay, and then bring the right arm out. Keep the right palm up. You can place your left hand on the outer left knee. You can maybe look over your right shoulder and breathe. Breathe into the spine. Breathe into that nice twist. One more breath here. Okay, we're going to come back to center. Hug your knees to your chest one more time. And we're going to straighten the legs. Interlace your fingers, press the palms away, reach your legs long, stretch and reach and reach and lengthen. And then we're going to come into Shavasana. So take a moment here and just organize your body. It's going to take a couple minutes here. Just close your eyes. Your body heavy and sinking into the mat, into the floor, down into the earth. Your whole body, your whole being is sinking into the earth all part of the earth. Take a big inhale through the nose. Big exhale out of the mouth. Two more just like that. Big inhale. Big exhale. 
Last one, big inhale. Big exhale. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms over your head, stretch your legs long. Bend your knees, place your feet on the mat, roll over to the right and pause in the fetal position. Keeping your eyes closed, gently push yourself up into a comfortable seated position. Take a moment to silently thank yourself for taking this time this afternoon to heal your mind, your body, and your spirit. To be humble and grateful toward the effort that you make in your yoga practice, which is in turn an effort to live a better quality of life for yourself and for those around you. Please bring your hands into prayer. In front of your heart, lift your chest, your sternum up high. Bow your head. Thank you so much for joining. Have a beautiful day. Go in peace. Namaste. Thank you everyone for joining. I will be teaching again um, Wednesday at 11 a.m. for uh, 26 and 2 series. And then I will also be teaching again Thursday at 12 noon for Yin Yoga and Saturday at 10 a.m. for 26 and 2 series. Thank you so much. Namaste.